Hi, and welcome to Crash Course Cryptozoology. Today, I'd like to talk about Dr. John Bindernagel, who unfortunately passed away recently. Uh, this is going to be a bit of an obituary, I suppose, but it's also going to be a look over of John Bindernagel's life, his research, and what he contributed to cryptozoology and mainly the Sasquatch phenomenon. John Bindernagel was born on January 1st, 1941, and sadly, he died about four days ago on the evening of January 17th, 2018. He had had cancer for a little over two years, and just ten days before his death, he announced to friends that his chemotherapy had not been working, and so they had simply recommended pain medication instead. John Bindernagel was from Canada, but he spent a lot of time in other places around the world, like in Africa and in the Middle East, doing various jobs and positions, uh, all of which were, you know, allowed him to travel to these wonderful locations at the time. He was a wildlife biologist and was one of the, of the only two real scientists to give uh, cryptozoology, and again, mainly the Sasquatch phenomenon, uh, any real credibility. In fact, it seemed to be Bindernagel's passion that the Sasquatch phenomenon be taken seriously due to the amount of evidence that he felt was sufficient for the creature's existence. While John never claimed to see a Sasquatch or any other cryptid for that matter, he did cast a track that he believed belonged to a Sasquatch along with his wife who helped him cast it. And this phenomenon was a real passion of his for over 50 years. And in those 50 years, he really really pushed for the scientific community to start taking Sasquatch seriously. And the reason he did was because, for one thing, no one else was really, aside from amateur investigators, which is great to have, but what is their say compared to, you know, an anthropologist like Jeff Meldrum say, or a wildlife biologist like John Bindernagel say. No one really takes it as seriously, is the point. I think that John's opinions on the subject can best be summed up in his old YouTube channel, which I will link in the description so all of you can go watch it. He has a three-part lecture on there, aside from other small lectures that deal with everything from specific pieces of evidence to overwhelming ideas and opinions. In short, John Bindernagel believed that the Sasquatch had fundamentally and essentially already been discovered. It was simply that the discovery process was now underway and that it would take a while before people accepted it. John Bindernagel appeared in many documentaries. He appeared in Monster Quest at one point, and lastly and most recently, he appeared in Todd Standing's Discovering Bigfoot. While perhaps not the best documentary for him to appear in, he was always a very approachable person from everyone who met him, and he was the exact same in this documentary, which is shows how good of a sport he was even about someone like Todd Standing and how dedicated he really was to this passion of his. Not just a passion, really, because he took it very seriously, and he encouraged that others should take it seriously as well. He also brought forth the very insightful and overall good idea that in order for this new paradigm of the discovery of Sasquatch to really be successful, one of the things that has to happen is this sort of faith dynamic should not be no one should take it upon themselves to feel that way about it because it's not a faith I was watching one of his lectures recently on his channel and he said something to the effect of it's not faith if someone looks at evidence and is convinced by the evidence that is presented to them faith is something that you put blindly into something most of the time with little or no evidence. Bindernagel looked at people who believed, at least most people who believed in the Sasquatch, as people who looked at what was presented by it and found it to be sufficient enough to not only suggest, but to show the existence of a large primate or mammal living in North America. One of the things John found most interesting was looking at eyewitness drawings because he found the illustrations very psychologically and practically insightful because he, he notes at one point that 
it's odd that some examples seem to show a more human-like face, some seem to show a more ape-like face. What he found most interesting, though, were the similarities in all the drawings, which were oftentimes the athletic nature of these creatures. He also found the audio evidence and the track evidence extremely interesting. He never talked often about footage, but he did note the Patterson-Gimlin film was an extremely good piece of film, but that it should not be the centerpiece. Again, focusing on the idea that all the evidence should be considered as though you were discovering any other animal, not this sort of, I don't want to say cult-like, but in a way cult-like way of looking at the phenomenon where faith is put into something and when you make something the centerpiece, he's, he said before, when you make something the centerpiece of a body of evidence, if you can disprove that centerpiece, as far as everyone is concerned, your entire point is also disproven. There is a body of evidence, not a single piece of evidence above all else. Overall, John Bindernagel was a very approachable, kind person. He was a hard worker, and he believed thoroughly. He was convinced thoroughly that there, were, that there are Sasquatches, and he tried his best to bring attention to it scientifically, as there should be. His family said that even in the last days that he was alive, he was... He had scribes in the family, basically, and they would write down uh, what he was saying. He was still jotting down ideas to the very day that he died. He had a lot of dedication, and he was a very, very intelligent and intellectual man. I think that many will agree when I say that we will sorely miss him.